Whether it's for e-commerce, social media, or product photography, if you want to remove distractions and are in the hunt for a quality background remover, stick around as in this video, we're going to be looking at a newly released product released just this past November 18, which might be the best background remover in the market. But is it really? That's what we're going to be finding out in today's video. The app is called AIRT Image Matting from a company called DGRT. Yes, you might remember the name AIRT since I reviewed its upscaler a few months ago and found it very impressive, in many ways the best out there. Now DGRT has added a background remover to the AIRT brand, which the company claims to deliver state-of-the-art precise background removal that works accurately for complex matting tasks such as those from hair or fur or even semi-transparent images. AIRT image matting is currently on sale, costing $65, down from $109 for a perpetual license. But the good news is, as of this recording, the company is holding a Christmas giveaway where you can get the app for free. So do check that out on their website. To determine whether AIRT image matting is indeed the best background remover, we're going to be comparing it with the current leader, Photo Room. But before we do that, let's first run through how to use the app. For this demo, I'll be testing it with three tough images, which in my experience would cause most background removers to fail. Here is the first image. What makes this tough is the outlying fur, which is soft and semi-transparent, which makes it hard to distinguish from the background. Here is the second image. What makes this problematic is the multitude of extremely tiny hair strands which are also semi-transparent and colored similar to the background. And here is the third image. The most difficult part of this image is a semi-transparent umbrella, wherein the background shows through and will confuse AI subject identification. Now just to demonstrate the difficulty of these images, let's use Photoshop, which is already considered one of the best background removers in photo editing. As you can see, it fails pretty badly in the first image. The transition between edge to background does not at all look natural and is too abrupt. Photoshop does better on the second image. However, there are some visible gaps present in some of the more prominent strands. As for the third image, Photoshop fails badly once again, incorrectly excluding portions of the transparent umbrella from the subject. So now that we have some idea of the difficulty of the test images, let's demonstrate how to process the images with AIRT image matting. To use AIRT, I'll select the images. AIRT includes a bunch of different models which can be changed via the dropdown. However, for this test, I'll just stick with the default. To view a preview, I'll click the start button to begin the matting process. And just like that, the background is removed. To add color to the background, I'll click the effect thumbnail. I'll select a black color. There, the background has now been made black. To apply the setting to the rest of the images, simply ensure that Apply to Batch Export is selected. One nice feature of ART image matting is it supports upscaling in addition to background removal. Upscaling can be set via the edit panel. To apply the upscaling to all images, I'll enable apply to batch export. Now that we're satisfied with the settings, we can now proceed with the exporting. To do so, I'll click the batch export button. Do note that during this exporting process, I have the internet connection disabled to demonstrate that all the processing is done in your local computer and none of your photos are uploaded to the cloud. There, exporting is done. As you can see, in addition to an image with the background removed, ART also exports the image with the previously set black background and also includes an image of just the mask, which may be useful for manual refinement with compositing editors. So that's a quick overview of how you use ART image matting. 
Next, let's do a comparison of ART's results with Photoshop. Here is the first image. As you can see, ART has done a significantly better job producing a more natural transition with significantly less errors than Photoshop. Here is the second image. While both results look good, looking closely, you can see that ART captured the strands better, which had visually less gaps than Photoshop. And here is the third image. You can see that ART was able to correctly cut out both the lady and the entire umbrella, which Photoshop failed to do. So as you can see, ART compares very favorably with Photoshop. But next, let's give ART a harder challenge and compare it with the leading background remover named Photoroom, which boasts over 150 million downloads. Do note though that unlike ART, Photoroom does not offer any perpetual license and is only available via subscription which costs $89 a year or $5 a month. In addition, input photos need to be uploaded to the cloud for processing, which is a problem if you care for privacy and security of your photos. So let's watch a slideshow comparison at the end, I'll tell you which one was the better background remover. So I hope you found that comparison helpful. Which one did you think was better? Write it down in the comments. Which one did I think was better? Well, while the results were somewhat close, in my view, there was a clear winner, and that winner is ART image matting. You can see why when looking closely at a few examples. In this first image, AIRT was able to produce far more defined results at the outer edges of the fur. It even correctly included this outlying first strand, which is almost indistinguishable from the background. Very impressive indeed. Looking at a second example, you can see that ART was better at capturing the outlying fur, which was clipped by Photoroom. Looking at a third example, ART's output shows visually more defined hair strands than Photoroom. Looking at the final example, you can see clearly the difference in the very difficult section of the tiger's fur, which closely blends with the background and clearly confused Photoroom's processing, but not so with AIRT. So we can go on and on, but you get the idea. Based on these results, I believe there is a new best background removal app, and that is AIRT image matting. This result is even more impressive when you consider that AIRT processes its images in the local computer with far weaker computing resources than Photoroom, which relies on powerful servers. So ART takes down another leading app. First, it was Topaz Labs with upscaling, and this time it is Photoroom with background removal. This is great news for consumers who now have an excellent alternative that gives great performance without requiring a pricey subscription. So congratulations to the DGRT team for this feat it surely demonstrates they're a company with one of the best technologies in the AI photo editing space. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know what you think of ART image matting once you get to try it. Links will be in the description. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.